sultry pink eye makeup look yeah? so if you're interested in learning how to achieve this then just keep on watching so for today's makeup look I'm gonna use two eyeshadow palettes so I'm gonna use the stuff glam eyeshadow palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills which looks like that and I'm also going to use uh, DBH Cosmetics Beautiful in Barcelona eyeshadow palette with which looks like that so I already did one eye just so that I know where I'm going with this look so I'm gonna start by taking this dusty roll shade on this soft glam palette and I'm going to put this in my crease Then with the same fluffy brush, this is a Morphe brush, I'm gonna go in with the shade Stone. It's kind of the same color but it's a little deeper than the Dusty Rose one. And I'm going to darken the crease. So then with the BH Cosmetics number 6 brush, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of the color Noir on the soft glam palette and I'm going to put this on the end of my eyes and I'm gonna use a small amount because it's black and I don't want to use too much. Just on the end of the eye. And then with another fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend this all together. Now we're going to take the shade Soul Tree, this one on the palette and I'm going to put it over the top of the black eyeshadow I just put on my eyes I'm gonna use another fluffy brush and I'm going to put it where I put the back now we're gonna go back with the Dusty Rose color and the Soft Glam palette and I'm going to put this over the crease just to blend a little bit more the color up there and to tone it down a little I'm gonna take the color Tempera and I'm going to put it where my brow bone is Now with my figure, I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Rose Pink, it's this one, and I'm going to pat this over my lid, but not where we put the sultry eyeshadow, just there. And we will blend this with a blending brush. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use this e.l.f. cream eyeshadow in the shade Flirty Bird and I'm going to put this in the middle of my eyelid it's gonna be a base for uh, another lighter shade that we will put over the top of this liquid eyeshadow And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the beautiful in Barcelona 
palette again and I'm gonna take the shade Enchanting and I'm going to put this eyeshadow color over the top of the cream elf eyeshadow and just pat the color over the top then I'm gonna go ahead and put the shade rose pink this one there and I'm also going to take the shade sultry this one and I'm going to put it there just so that it all blends out together. So I'm first gonna take the shade Rose Pink. And the shade Sultry. Just like that. Not too much, just so that it all blends out together. So that is done for the eyeshadow, I've cleaned up the edges of the eyes and now I'm going to apply my fake eyelashes of camera and I'm going to come back. So I have now applied my false lashes, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start the face. So I'm gonna prime my face with the Poreless Body Primer by e.l.f. and I'm gonna put this on my T-zone. makes your skin so smooth <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and take my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminator in the shade Ice and I'm going to put this on the high points of my face so on the cheekbone So now that you're all primed, I'm gonna go ahead and use my foundation. Today I'm gonna use the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation in the shade Porcelain Ivory. Yes, I know, I'm pale. <laughs> I'm gonna put this everywhere. And I'm going to blend this with my Morphe X Jeffree Star foundation brush. Now I'm gonna go ahead and conceal my face and today I'm using the Health 16 hour camo concealer in the shade Light Ivory and I'm going to highlight my face and my under eye with it Now I'm going to cream contour with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Cafe. I'm putting this under my cheekbones, a little bit on my forehead. this out with my Morphe buffing brush, uh, Morphe, sorry, my Real Techniques buffing brush. I 
have so much life in my face after this step. It's crazy. <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and set my highlighted areas with this Makeup Revolution Banana Light Powder. I'm putting this under my eye. A little bit more on the side of my nose. on the tip a little bit on my forehead a little bit on my chin oh and this is the real techniques sponge I like to use a dry sponge to do my baking and a wet sponge to do my concealer and all that jazz and I'm going to put it a little bit under my cream contour to clean it up and now with a big fluffy brush this is the BH Cosmetics number no. 1 brush I'm gonna take the remaining powder and I'm going to set the rest of my face but very lightly Now I'm going to bronze my face, so I'm gonna use my favorite bronzer of all time. I'm gonna use the MAC Gimme Sun bronzer and I'm going to put this everywhere. I put the cream contour. Now for blush, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Milani Berry More blush and I'm going to put it with this Real Techniques blush brush and I'm going to put this on the apples of my cheeks and I like to put my blush on my temples and on my nose too now I'm gonna go back with my a MAC Kim Sun Bronzer and I'm going to contour lightly my nose and I'm using a small blending brush to do it now that that is done I'm gonna go ahead and wipe away the baking almost done so now I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face today I'm using my wet n wild loose highlighting powder in the shade you glow girl and I'm going to do it with my real techniques contour brush that I never use for contouring but only for highlighting <laughs> I chose this highlighter because it has a pink undertone and I thought it would look great with the eye look a lot and to highlight my nose I'm gonna use a small brush like this on the tip of my nose and on the bridge and with the same brush I'm going to highlight my brow bone so now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the eye look so I'm gonna take my soft glam palette and use the shade Dusty Rose and Rose Pink and I'm also going to use the shade Stone on the other palette and I'm going to mix them all together with this Morphe brush and I'm going to put it on my bottom lash area So now with the same brush, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my inner corners with the same highlighter that I use for my face. And now I'm going to use this Personnel eyeliner in the shade Intense Black. I think it's a Canadian brand, but any black eyeliner will do. 
and I'm going to put it in my waterline. I'm gonna use my mini, trusty old mini Dame Girl Mascara by Too Faced and I'm going to put it on my bottom eyelashes. And now we're going to do the lips, finally! Yay! My favorite part! <laughs> and today I'm gonna use my NYX Slide On Glide On super long name, I don't know, <laughs> uh, lip liner in the shade Nude Suede Shoes. Oh, I need to sharpen this. I'm coming back. It's a nice nude with some pink undertone in it. And today I'm gonna use Two liquid lipstick. I'm gonna mix them together. So I'm gonna use this Tilla Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Patina, and I'm gonna use this Sephora Cream Lip Satin in the shade Made in Italy. So I'm first gonna start with the Stila one, and I'm going to put it on the outer part of my lip. And then I'm going to put the Sephora one on the middle of my lips. Not too much. And I'm going to blend it again with my fingers. So you can totally leave it like that if you want. That's super cute with... Uh, that look is super cute with a matte lip, but I think I think I want to put some gloss on. I really like gloss, but I'm scared because it really looks great like that. But I'm gonna put it anyway and we'll see. <laughs> so I'm gonna put the Revlon Super Lustrous The Gloss in the shade Sandstorm. Really, really like these glasses. The formula is so good and it's not super sticky too, so yeah, I just love it. And I'm going to put just a little bit in the center of my lips. Or all over. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I kind of like it. Yay! Oh yeah, that's super pretty. Oh, I love those lips! Mm. Yay, I'm happy! So here's a close-up of the makeup look finish. So yeah guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then just please subscribe and hit the like button down below, please. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day filled with love. And I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye!